Hi, I'm Anil Kumar, and here is a very interesting question on permutation and combination. The question here is, in how many ways can four girls and three boys be seated in a row so that no two boys are together? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, in this question, we need to arrange four girls and three boys so that no two boys are together. Now, the way we can do it is like this. Let's first see how many ways four girls can be arranged. So let me write down G for girls. So these are the four girls. So the number of ways in which four girls can be arranged is four factorial. So four girls can be arranged in four factorial ways, right? So if you place one girl in the first position, one of the four, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, boys cannot be seated together. That is to say that boys could take a position in between the girls, right? These positions or in the end or in front. So these are possible positions for the boys. And what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five positions to fill. So number of permutations when these five positions can be filled with three boys is 5p3. So that is what gives us the total number of count. So as far as the three boys are concerned, they have one, two, three, four, five positions to fill. So it is 5p and there are three boys. Now, from the fundamental rules, we can find that the total number of ways will be product of these two, that is 4 factorial times 5p3, right? So now we can use the calculator and find the answer, correct? We have 4 factorial, 4 factorial equals to 24 times 5p3, 5p3 over just 60. So it is 24 times 60 that gives you 1440. So the answer is 1440. Thank you.